Zach, I don't know, it's good year, whoever sanded the neck put a little extra love into it. This one just feels amazing. Uh, this one came in this very morning, 2007. This is a McCarty Carina. So rather than mahogany body with a maple top and a mahogany neck, this one has two-piece Carina body, front and back, and it has a Carina neck on it. Or white limba, if you prefer. Um, another special feature of this guitar is the Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, which came on some of these, but not all of them. Other than that, it's a classic 2007 McCarty, so stop tail bridge, uh, volume, tone, push-pull coil tap, three-way toggle switch, two McCarty pickups, and it's got the thin headstock with the Clusen tuners on it. Thin. Clusen. So why is that? Why are those thin? The reason they were thin is they were trying to get more of a vintage sound out of the guitars, right? So they looked at a Custom 22, which had a thick headstock and locking tuners and a very shallow headstock angle, and they looked at an old Les Paul, which had a thin headstock and clusens and a steeper angle. Mm, they started doing some pumping. They started doing some of this, and then the next thing you know, they're putting switches up here. <laughs> uh, th this guitar is spec'd out about as good as you could spec it, so all the option boxes got ticked, including bird inlays and gold hardware and brass board. Really nice guitar. Uh, sounds great, plays great, super, super comfortable neck shape. Like when I think of a great wide fat neck curve, that's what this is. Um, which for those of you who aren't PRS owners, isn't particularly wide nor particularly fat. It actually feels a lot like an old real 50s Les Paul neck. Um, a slight amount of E to it, but nothing. It's a neck you don't notice. You don't notice it being V nor C shaped. It just kind of plays. It's out of your way. And she good. Uh, a couple of tiny dings on this guitar that stop it from being totally perfect. Got a little one there, and a little one there, but other than that, I can't really find anything wrong with it. You know, there's some light pick scratches on the pick on the pickup covers. Really, no fretware to speak of. I mean, these frets are like an easy nine out of ten condition. Sounds good, plays good. Not too much money. I think we got this up for what? what Nineteen ninety nine. Just one dollar under two grand. Take her home.